Hello and welcome to Defected Clubland Adventures. In this episode, we'll be taking you into the world of al fresco clubbing. Recent years have seen the return of outdoor clubbing in a big way. From the beaches of Bali to the shores of Ibiza, everybody wants a piece of the action. Here's what's coming up in the show. Coming up, we're whisking you off to the island paradise of Bali to check out this year's Junction Festival. Ricky Rivaro gives us the lowdown on the incredible beach club Bloomingdale in the Netherlands. David Piccioni tells us about the legendary Azuli secret beach parties in Ibiza. We pay a visit to the amazing Lake Dance Festival in Holland. And we give you our guide to the best beach clubbing destinations in the world. But first, we check out the Ashwai Beach Hotel and see why it's become this summer's hottest destination in Ibiza. Hi, I'm Simon Dunmore from Defected Records. We are at Ushuaia, Ibiza. Playing at the moment, we have Mr. Ray Fox, followed by Tara Van de Vord making his Defected in the house debut. Ray is on uh, shortly after that. And then finishing off the uh, proceedings will be Mr. Bob Sinclair. Hi, I'm Ian, and I'm one of the partners of Ushuaia Hotel and the uh, artistic director of uh, Creative Pod. I come four years ago. Uh, I had a little beach club on, on Playa de Mbosa. I started to do a little bit of parties because the concept that I had was doing open air parties and uh, dancing down the moon and the stars and the sand and something like a little bit more free, no? And then I start with little parties in, in the first the first year in the first beach club. And then I took another one, a little bit bigger, with a, a good restaurant and, and, uh, and bigger parties. We start with Luciano, doing big parties with Luciano, and then Sven Bat, Loco Dice, uh, Richie Hunting, everybody, Sasha was doing um, big events too. And then we all two years there, doing big open air parties. We try to keep this and to put it inside the hotel to, to, to make like an adventure park, like amusement park for, for adults. It's right in the middle of Playa de Mbosa, directly opposite space. And the parties this year have been nothing short of uh, sensational, to be honest with you. They've got an amazing lineup. They have Sasha, they have Cadenza, the Swedish House Mafia. I think it's been one of the success stories of the island over the last few years. There's been, over the last few years, a massive surge in popularity of, of outdoor clubbing. I think primarily because I think that it's way more social. I mean, you can hang out in a little bit more of a, uh, a better environment. You know, you're, you're outside and the sun is shining or the stars are out. I think you can feel a little bit more freer. The people um, can come in the afternoon, less drugs, less alcohol, less uh, stress, less uh, aggressive, you know? And, uh, and uh, they can spend a few hours with the sea, with the sun, with the pool, uh, really good feeling concept, I think. 30 years ago in Ibiza it was all like this, no? it was all like uh, big parties, open air on the beaches, uh, different way, different feeling. If it's not so underground, if it's not so noisy, if it's not so, so full of, uh, of smoke, I think it's, there's more freedom and, and, and there's more, it's a different feeling. I think that Defected fit really, really well. It's, it's, it's a good quality music party. Uh, it's, a, it's a funny and fresh uh, line of music, really housey. Uh, Rai is, is doing uh, really, really good music. The sound divine, is amazing. she's amazing, really. So we love it. The Defected sound is a little bit more, a bit more soulful, a little bit, bit more spiritual, a little bit more Latin in a lot of parts, and I just think that perfectly complements the vibe that people want to experience when they're outside. It's not about getting bashed over the head at 130 BPM. It's far more sexy, people get into the groove far more. And I think that really, as I said, it's a perfect match for the musical sound and the vibe of Defected and, and the records that we release. Uh, 
everybody is really welcome to the hotel. They have to, to come and spend a few days here, one part of relaxing and one part of, of big parties. We're going to try to, to do a good mix. The Defected Guide to the Best Beach Club Destinations in the World. Organised by Indian dance music outfit Submerge, held on Kandalin Beach in Goa. Sunburn is the subcontinent's largest festival dedicated solely to electronic music. House is on the rise in India, due in no small part to this exceptional party and Sunburn is a festival experience unlike any other. Hi, my name is Donny Wan and we are in the beautiful island of Bali in Indonesia. You know what makes Bali a magical place is actually the, firstly the people and the surroundings. The, the culture in this, in this island is uh, it's wonderful and uh, the people are so friendly and once you start to get out and see also what the island's all about you'll see many many things that's just of interest. Anton Rajono, I'm Bogi. We promote the Junction Bali Festival. So this year is our seventh edition of the Junction Festival. Uh, seven years ago, we wanted to bring together uh, people from all over the world, and I think Bali is the perfect place. I mean, it has uh, endless, endless resources of creativity and culture. You want to be outside. It would be nice to be actually dancing outside under the stars. And a nice view, of It brings a totally different um, vibe to uh, the party and also the way people play music. Hello, I'm Charles Webster. So this is my first time to play in Bali. I think Bali is in many ways a perfect location for a music festival because music seems to be very much part of people's lives here. I think music definitely um, becomes connected to its surroundings. So the surroundings here, because it's pretty much the paradise island, especially when the club's right on the beach. Yeah, I mean, music works very well in this environment. Kudaita has been here for, uh, this is our 11th year. I think it's the first uh, venue really that was built of this kind where we actually had a restaurant and a beach club that was uh, integrated into it. It's now gone past just being a restaurant and a beach club, it's more of a lifestyle venue. It's really grown uh, quite a bit and it's the magic of the place that I think is uh, quite important and that what brings people uh, back over and over again and of course the, the mighty Indian Ocean. It's, uh, you can't beat that, it's amazing. 
I think the popularity of outdoor clubbing, well in Bali in particular, outdoor clubbing has been going on here for like many, many years before I even got here. But then when coup d'etat came in, what made it big and popular for us, because it's also in a uh, confined environment as well, so they feel quite safe being a coup d'etat and they know that they, it's, it's not just makeshift toilets or uh, bars, it's actually a proper venue which happens to be also outdoors, which also happens to be in front of the ocean and you can't beat that combination for a, an amazing event. The Defected Guide to the Best Beach Club Destinations in the World. Situated on Ibiza's gorgeous south coast, Blue Marlin is one of the White Isle's most stylish beach clubs. Live bands and DJs provide the nightly soundtrack while you indulge yourself. Think luxury day beds and some of the finest food Ibiza has to offer. and you're watching Defected Clubland Adventures. I'm here at the Lake Dance Festival in Holland. The sun has finally come out. It's just stopped raining and we're going to check out the rest of the festival. Don't go anywhere. My name is Ricky Rivara, we're here at Lake Dance. At this point it's a little bit rainy, but uh, we can see the sun coming off the clouds, so we don't worry about that. I think, um, not to be arrogant, I think the Dutch people, they really know how to party and also how to do, you know, how to organize festivals. I think the, the quality here, in terms of sound, lights, stages, etc., is really high. I think we got it, uh, we got it sorted over here. really excited about festivals because it's a summertime thing I mean there's nothing better than raving in the sun so you know winter time it's, it's club time summertime means festival time I'm Simon Dunmore. The vibe at Lake Dance, it's been pretty good actually. I mean, mainly because the weather's so bad. I mean, we've had a couple of very intense showers and um, that just meant, has meant that people aren't kind of sitting around. They're in the party, they're getting down. They're probably trying to keep warm, to be fair. But yeah, the vibe's great. Hi, I'm David Pan. I'm in Holland, in Lake Dance. It's a great festival. I've been. Uh, this is my third year here. It's, it's great to be here uh, every year with the factory in the house. That's Sam Divine. And that shovel. <laughs> um, you've just come off. How was it for you? They've had quite naughty weather earlier on, but it's been continually packed through rain and grey clouds, and there's even more people in there now. So it's been it's been wicked. DJs rocked it. Shapeshifters rocked it. You know, I love festivals when it goes off. Playing outside. It's going to be a sort of a full moon as well tonight. So yeah, man. Nature, drums, people dancing. You know, it's a big tribe.
Hi, I'm David Piccioni. I own a Manti Beach Club in uh, Ibiza, and I used to own a Zuli Records and Black Market Records. The thing about Ibiza, which was always novel for me, and I think for a lot of people, was that there was a great energy from dancing and experiencing a party in the middle of the day or the early evening. The sun's out, you're next to the sea, it's fresh, you get that feeling of euphoria, of, of being alive, you know. Well, what happened in, in, in Ibiza is that the law changed uh, three or four years ago, where it was then made illegal to do uh, after hours. Uh, clubs had to close at seven, between seven and four. And what happened was a lot of the outdoor places just sim didn't seem to happen anymore. And I wanted to capture the spirit of, of that vibe that we that, that used to have in Ibiza. And we started these beach parties, which were totally illegal. Uh, we wouldn't tell anybody where they were. We'd, we'd sell tickets, we'd invite people, but only tell people three hours before where the location was. And, and the energy and the vibe w w was fantastic. They, they, they have become legendary, those parties. We did it for fun. We would spend a little money and we'd make money on drinks, but there was no profit in it. So we wouldn't pay any DJs. We would just ask DJs to come along and, and play. And, and many did. We, we had uh, David Morales playing, Pete Tong played, uh, Danny Tenaglia played. People would come along and play for a couple of hours. And, and I think that added to the vibe of the thing, really, that it was really impromptu, really makeshift, but, but uh, it had a great spirit and energy. One of the things that attracts people from partying outside is it's just different, it makes a change because people are always inside dark clubs. When I was in my clubbing heyday, which was quite some time ago, it was a lot more social. When you're in a club, it was a club because you were a club of people together and you associated with the people around you and communicated with the people around you. And that doesn't happen so much in, in, in clubs now. When you're outside, it's pretty hard not to talk to people around you. <laughs> you know. And uh, when we did our beach parties here, they were very social. You could feel the difference in the energy, I think, in the party because we don't want full-on club music. We want something to capture the spirit of an outdoor party. And DJ responded to that and we had, we had great sets. I think um, Andy Cato Groove Armada did a fantastic set and he said it was one of the best gigs he's done because he could play across the board whatever he wanted, you know. Now I know. My original vision for Amante was I wanted it as a, a kind of escape a discreet little place where people just could come and, and, and get away. And, and now we do have a lot of people actually from the club scene, promoters and DJs, that come here because they don't want, they want to get away from the, the craziness of, of Playa de Mbossa and, and the big glitzy glam restaurants. When it comes to loving you, I lose my self-control. Well, it's, it's a beach club primarily, so it's, it's, a, it's a complete chill-out escape. So you can come and rent a beach bed for the day, um, you can sit and enjoy the sea, have lunch here, you can go all the way through, you can have your cocktails and stay for dinner as well. It's, it's a very simple place and it's a, an escape. The Defected Guide to the Best Beach Club Destinations in the World. Arguably Asia's best known and most talked about festival, Singapore's Zook Out raises the bar for electronic music in the East, taking the Zook Club spirit out onto Siloso Beach on Sentosa Island. The world's greatest DJs regularly perform at this annual three-day event and people flock from around the globe to soak up this inimitable beach clubbing vibe. My name is Ricky Rivaro, I'm the resident DJ of Beach Club Bloomingdale. Hello, my name is Jasper Roort, I'm the owner of Beach Club Bloomingdale. Uh, one of the nicest things here in the Beach Club is that we have about 26 uh, parties each year from the third weekend of March until the third weekend of September. We are here in the beach, which is the closest to Amsterdam, it's about half an hour to 45 minutes from the city center of Amsterdam. So it should be a nice place for people from all over the world to come and check out. This is my 10th my year now and still 
the, the hype is growing. I think it's really special to have a, uh, have outdoor uh, events, club events like this, because you have outdoor festivals as well. But this is really an outdoor club event, so it's not as big as a huge festival, but it's outside, it's nice, the weather is good, people are almost always smiling. The other one thing is that we are close half a year, which makes it special again uh, in the beginning of the summer. People are really looking forward to going uh, to the beach again. On the 24th of July we have the 10 years anniversary and we decided to do a 10 uh, hours during event uh, with 10 top DJs from Holland which we're not gonna announce. I literally asked every DJ to bring the music he or she wants or uh, wants to play if, if, if he or she thinks about the summer. So it's gonna be not like doing a normal set but the DJ is really gonna play their favorite summer music which makes it a little bit more personal and special. I think uh, the main reason uh, for people to ever see Bloomingdale once in their life is because, you know, it's, it's very simple. If you go to Abisa, you go to Pasha, because you know that's the place to be over there. So if you go to Amsterdam in summer, you have to be in Bloomingdale as well. You have to be there to know what it's all about. And uh, people also call it this, this, this tiny place, they call it Small Abisa. And I think you will know what I'm talking about if you've been here. So. Uh, And that's nearly it for this edition of Defected Clubland Adventures, but don't forget to check out Defected.com for all the information on all our up and coming events and releases, including the brand new Defected Presents Beach Clubbing album, featuring all the tracks from this episode and many more. You treat me right.